Yo, what's up guys, Super today I have a quest guide for you on the quest <clears throat> Wanted. This quest will give you 5,000 Slayer experience, which is pretty nice if you're low level. You're going to need a Law Rune, an Enchanted Gem, Molten Glass, and 20 Prune or Pure Essence. Um, you also can bring 10,000 coins instead. Uh, I'll show you at what part you can use the 10,000 coins. But it's honestly worth just getting those items as it's cheaper. Because you're going to be getting something called like a Calm Orb, like a Communication Orb. And you can either pay 10,000 coins or use the items out of my inventory. Anyways, talk to Certificard, ca Certification, Cation, certi Certification. I just realized that his name, his name means Certification. So yes, it's certifi Certification. Anyways, run down south to the castle after you've talked to him. Talk to him. Go to the th third floor and talk to Sir Emic Vars. Ceramic vars, which is like ceramic vase. If you didn't know, all the sirs have a like a sort of funny name. Ceramic vars, obviously being ceramic vase, is what they're trying to say, or a vase. <clears throat> so, anyways, funny stuff. Talk to him. And you go through the options with him. And he's gonna tell you about this little asshole who's running around in escape, causing havoc and all this stuff. Um, and I'll let you know what you need to do to find him. So, make sure to check the quest to make sure you've started it. And then you're going to run your ass back to Sir Tiffy. You're going to be running uh, back and forth between the two for a while. For three or four conversation lengths. And, which is sort of annoying, but whatever, you know, that's, that's just Jagex for you. So, anyways, uh, make sure you just click the option that says that you spoke with Sir Amic. And he'll give you more information. And, uh... At this point, you're going to have to run back over to Mr. Uh, Vars, Mr. Sir Amic. Ha, oh, Sir Amic, God, funny. So, I'm going to just keep talking over these parts so you guys don't have to listen to some boring RS music. You can hear my sexy voice. Anyways, um, how you guys doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So, talk to Sir Amic Vars again. Ask him the options. And usually it's safe to um, go through all the options. In this case, you can just click the bottom, uh, not the bottom option, sorry. Others, not the bottom option. The bottom option will basically be you joking around so you can get killed so you can help them. Make sure you say, sure, I'll help you. And you'll basically, this might be the last part you just talk with him. Run back and down. And I believe this is the last time you speak with Sir Amic. Or sorry, Sir Tiffy. Sir Tiffa. Sir Tiffa. Sir Tiffa. Talk to him. And this should be the part where you can either pay him 10k or you have to give him a law rune, an enchanted gem, molten glass to make it. Also, what you uh Make sure you guys remember that all my, all the quest requirements, all the items you need, all the rewards that you get are below in the description. So if you guys are ever confused on what you need, if you, if I miss something, make sure to always check before you can really start this quest in the description to make sure you have everything. Also, make sure to join my CC soup or hero for quest help and just chatting and shit. You know, pretty chill place. And at this part, you're gonna be talking with Savant, who, as you know. You can either pay 10k or use the Molten Glass Law Room Enchanted Gem, and you'll get the Calm Orb, like I said, which you have right now. You're gonna talk with Savant for a little bit. And as you're going through all these options, and basically you're gonna be looking after Solus, and she's amazed that you uh, got this guy as your first assignment, but obviously you're gonna beat him because it's a fucking RuneScape quest. So. That's what you basically need to kill him. Actually, I'm just kidding. I messed that part up. You guys need 20 pure Arun Essence. Pure Essence does work because I used it in the quest guide right now. Or if you have Rune Essence, you can just bring that. So run back to a bank and get a teleport to Varok. And get some... I just have some food with me as well. Just three tuna. I believe you're not going to fight anyone. 
So, as you guys see, you're going to have to go to Tower League Dungeon first. Because you're going to be fighting a Black Knight. Now, if you're really low level, I recommend bringing some armor. But I brought nothing. I just brought an amulet, I think, an angel of power. I don't even know if I brought that. You're going to be fighting a Black Knight. I had to fight two for some reason, but I believe you only have to fight one. And there we go. You have to kill level 33 Black Knight. I just reminded myself of the quest guide to say that. I didn't. I don't think I even. I might have prayer flicked every once in a while, but I honestly just kicked the guy to death. So he's not that hard to kill, but depending on your combat stats, it might be tough to kill him. But you should be fine if you're 50 plus combat or so. And if you have 43 prayer, you'll be fine if you can just if you're okay at prayer flicking. Anyways, you're going to run through Tavoli Dungeon all the way to the bottom part, and you're going to go to the southwestern room, all the way down here. Open the door, and this guy's going to be in here, the Lord. And say you're going to be here on the... You're here on behalf of the Black Knights, and here's the part where you have to kill a Black Knight. I just, uh, fail, pray, switch, flicked, whatever. But honestly, the, uh, Black Knight did not hit me that much. I was level 65 when I did this. You should be fine if you're 55, 50 plus. But, um, other than that, I talked to him, and honestly, at this point, I should have been done killing them. But for some reason, uh, I had to fight him. I had to fight another Black Knight, and I just scanned here for a second, seeing if they're doing something wrong. I asked um, Savon, I'm gonna call her Savant, if I had to do anything, but. Um, I had to basically talk to Savant and then talk to him again, and now say again they're here on the ba uh, Black Knights, and then you'll be talking to him again. And you'll have a long conversation with him, and at this point, just keep talking with him. Savant will tell you that he is not lying. And now a Black Knight will appear, you have to defeat him again. And then once you defeat him, talk to the guy's gonna be like, no, please stop hurting my people. And you'll talk with him again. And at this point, he'll finally give you a hint on where the soulless dude is. <laughs> now, uh, make sure you finish talking to Lord Decarius or whatever his name is. Because at this point, you're going to have to go to Varric. Make sure you have 20 rune or pure essence with you. And now, run to the, I believe, north or southeastern part of uh, Varric. And go to the chapel slash monastery down here. Basically, it'll open your map where the prayer symbol is and talk to the Zamorak Mage. Now, you're going to have to have done the Zamorak Mage mini quest to talk to him. Which is really, 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 really easy. So just do that. And again, make sure you just look at the quest requirements in the description. Because you would have known that. So talk to him. At this point, he's going to be like, Give me that orb. And you're going to be like, No, motherfucker, dude. You cannot have it. And eventually, you're going to be giving him 20 pure rune essence. Depending on what you have. Talk to him again. And he's going to say, 20 pieces of rune essence, but pure essence work just as well. <clears throat> Sorry. Voice is sort of dry. Now, you are going to be sort of having a manhunt, a, man a chase around RuneScape trying to find the Solus guy. So, I'm going to run to the bank and show you the items you need. I am wearing my bear hat, uh, light white boots, uh, my calm orb, ectophile, teleports all around RuneScape, and some food. Now, you should bring teleports all over the place. You should bring some gold as well for some. If you want to go somewhere, like on a boat or something. But at this point, the first place you need to go is Canifis. So I brought my Ectophile that you get from the Ghost Ahoy quest. I'm gonna teleport to the port, refill my Ectofun or refill my Ectophile, and run along the northern edge of the uh, forest area. And at this point, I'm just gonna run over to Canifis. So I'll keep recording when I get there. So once you get here. Scan the orb by just right clicking and click scan orb and Savannah will tell you that there's something here but she's not sure. <laughs> and
And Savannah will give you a little description of what's going on. She's gonna give you some like Super Paper Mario shit information, how there's like dual teleportation systems, 3D imaging, all this lovely stuff that most of you probably won't even pay attention to. But anyway, Solus is here. You just have to make your way through the long conversation with Savant. It's basically just a bunch of click here to continues. And eventually you're gonna make your way to the end where you have to scan with the orb again to see if he's here. You just have to run a little bit farther into the middle of the town to find him. And then yeah. So, here we go. If I click scan, he, she will check for incoming data, and if you, if you are in the right spot, then Solus, you will find Solus, but if you're not, then she's going to say everything's clear here. So once you get a little closer to the middle of the town, scan with the orb again, and this time you find Solus, a little cutscene. Now what you're going to do is going to go on a manhunter on Runescape for this guy, and each time he teleports away, he's going to leave one item behind that gives you a clue as to where he's going to teleport next. Now I'm leaving a link below that with all the items he may drop and where that means he left to or went to. The item is going to, I believe, Rune HQ or Rune Wiki, one of the two, it's a bit of .ly for you guys, so if you get an item where you're not sure where to go, just go to the link below and it'll tell you exactly where you need to head. And once you get to that place, you just need to scan with the orb again and you're going to be going through a bunch of cutscenes. Now. I'm going to show you exactly where my Solus dude went. I believe it's different for everybody, so don't try to go to the places that I go to. And yeah. Anyways, she's going to find a banana, and this banana is a clue as to where he's gone next. Remember, you will get an item each time. Some are strange, so I'm assuming you guys will know where to go, and which is why I'm leaving the link below. The banana on the other... Er, for the banana, the clue is to go to Port Serum and then teleport to Karamja and go to the banana plantation. You guys should know where that is. Uh, as Pirate's Treasure took place there. I hope you guys did Pirate's Treasure. So what I'm going to do is teleport to Falador. I'm going to run south to the ports. <clears throat> get some money for the ship ride to Karamja. Which I believe is 30 coins. I'll keep recording once I get there. And then basically I'm going to show you guys where you have to go. Take the boat from Port Serum to Karamja, and then go to the Banana Plantation, which is basically uh, northwest of the docks where you land. And scan with the orb, and Solus will be here, and he's gonna all be like, yo bitch, get out of my way, and you'll be like, no nah, man, I gotta do this quest, and he's gonna be like, oh fuck you too. And at this point, the chase continues. So these cutscenes are really long, it's basically just a uh, little chatter with Savan and Solus and he's gonna be like, oh you can never catch me and Savan's like, oh the Temple Knights, yeah we have big dicks and Solus is like, no not true at this point he'll teleport you to a random place he teleported me to Camelot I'm not sure if he teleports everybody to Camelot but that's where he teleported me and then you're gonna have this conversation with Savan again keep talking to her This time he gave me a cape. Now if you get a cape like this, it means you have to go to the Champions Guild, which is where you go when you have, I believe, 31 or 32 quest points. If you get the Dragon Slayer, it's just the part where you talk to the Guild Master, or the Quest Guild Master person, which is in Varric. It's in the southern part of Varric. So I'm teleport to Varric. I think I'm gonna get this. There's the map, there's, a ch there's the center of Varric. There's the Champions Guild. I just need to teleport to Varric and run south. Once you get there, scan with the orb, uh, but make sure you're on the inside of the building. <clears throat> and there we go, another cutscene. And it's gonna be more talking. He will hit you with smoke, but don't worry, you won't get injured. But the third time you catch him, 
he will drain your uh, health by be three fourths of what it is. So I'm not sure. Make sure you have full health just in case. But I'm not sure if it's three fourths of your current health or three fourths of your actual HP level. But make sure you just have full HP. Anyways, at the next part, I just there's the link. It's, it's Sal's realm. That's what's like. The Sal's realm. I just checked where the next piece of information was, and I got goblin mail. So I teleported to Falador, I ran north up to Goblin Village, which is where you need to go if you get Goblin Mail. And you gotta scan with the orb again, and he will be here. Another cutscene. So as you can see, he hits you for a lot of damage, and you're going to be teleported to Falador by Savant. And I have 11 out of 54 HP, so I was pretty low. Keep talking to her. And one more, one or two more items is all you're gonna get. I got a bone spear. This means you're gonna have to go down. Uh, if you complete, you have to have completed Lost Tribe. If you get this item, it's the bone spear or bone something, bone halberd thingy. And you need to have a light source, so I was I went and got a candle from my inventory. And you're gonna have to make your way down to Lumbridge Cellar, which is what I'll get to right now. And I have a stuffy nose, so I keep sniffing. So there I got my candle, which is right here. And make your way to the basements, go through this hole, and you should be able to follow a guy to the other side. Now once you get here, you're going to scan again, and this time a girl's going to pop up. The thing is, the girl's actually soulless, just tricking you. Um, so don't be fooled. Alright, and you guys should almost be done with this chase. I remember it was sort of annoying. And down the home stretch now. And after more long conversations, she's gonna look for items that you that he left behind.
And this time I got a cream hat. And I'll show you where you need to go next. So I was teleported to Lumbridge. And you're going to have to go to the gnome tree area if you get a cream hat. I just took the glider that's in port or in Alcarid. I just took the glider which will bring you to the top of the grand tree. And you just need to make your way down to the first floor. And scan again for him, and this time he'll be really pissed off. Now he will leave a black knight for you to kill. He's really easy to kill. You don't even need armor to kill this guy. But I brought some just to make this speed up process easier. I tried out the bone thing for a second just to see what it looks like. Was pretty funner. And eventually you'll kill him. And you'll have to talk to a dude down here. Now, once you have finished with your last one, you have to teleport to uh, a pure essence mine, a runescence mine. And once you get the 20 runescence, you'll know you have to go there. And right when you teleport to a essence mine, he'll show up and you're going to have to kill him. Now, Savant tells you you don't have to worry about it as the whole white knight archer army will come. But this guy kills all of them, but he'll have very low health and you'll have to kill him by yourself. But he's very, very easy to kill. And I basically like seven or eight hit him because he had low health. You guys could probably kick him to death to be honest. But uh, you, yeah, it's not that hard to kill. You guys should be all right. So I'll just let you guys watch the cutscene. And here you can see him killing him. Alright, so you'll be teleported back once you've killed him. Go talk to Sir Emic Vars to finish the quest. Really long commentary, 24 minutes. Really long. Pretty easy quest, just a bit annoying. But, anyways, talk to him. And you have to show him the evidence. And when you kill the guy, when you kill Solus, you'll automatically get a hat. And this hat will provide proof that you killed them and that'll be quest complete anyways guys thanks for watching long quest finally done and hope you guys enjoyed and yeah please leave a like for more peace